Good morning. So uh, yesterday um, we set up a new repo for a Wales test. Um, so we're testing building a Wales uh, app, um, which is a Go backend with any kind of uh, JavaScript front-end app. Um, it's kind of like Electron, but far lighter uh, in weight. Um, so we're testing, we've already created um, a flat pack, um, and now I'm creating a snap. Um, and I just got kind of started um, yesterday. So today my task is to get a working snap package for Linux of a Wales app, the demo version. So um, we have a repo um, at TNM Jones Wales test on GitHub. Um, and we should have a checkout here. We do. Um, yesterday we were just checking to see um, what kind of plugins Snapcraft can use for building. Um, we looked at the Go and NPM. Um, but I think I'll be using the Go plugin. So quick look at the docs. Okay, so creating a snap. Quick start guide. So I already have Snapcraft in. I already created a Snapcraft or YAML. Um, So what I really should probably look at is the go docs. Where's the plugins? It's not obvious, is it? Oh, I expect when I go through this, it'll go through. Okay, our oh, platform walkthrough. So, okay, there we go. All right, yeah, go. Go and node there. So, I've already had a look at these. So, this just gives you a little overview. Um... But basically, I just needed to use plugin go and a source. It's interesting, though. I didn't think I needed to use that. Let's try and get where's the uh, actual docs for this then? Right, okay. Go here. Right, okay. So I want to use core 20 as my base it as the base for my snap. Um so that's basically building off of you up into twenty oh four instead of core eighteen, which is up into eighteen oh four um LTS. I want to use twenty oh four. So all I need to do Well, that's fine. I just use that. So I don't need to use a go channel and I don't need build tags at the moment. In fact, I'm probably not even going to be using go itself for the build. I want to basically just make sure the infrastructure is there um, because Wales um, CLI does all the building for me. It calls NPM and it calls go build and all this kind of stuff. Um, I just need to get to the point where I can easily install Wales and CLI and then run it. So I think what I need to do is that, let's just add Go at the moment. 
And then I should, well, I should at least see what's going to happen from that. Uh, I basically need to get things kind of up and running and then investigate, sort of iterating through it um, to get the build working. So we'll just change that to go. Uh, so we're going to have, yeah, so I just gave it a name, Wells Test, Core 20, 0.1. Quick summary, quick description. Um, we're in development mode at the moment, so we'll leave it at devel um, and confinement dev mode as well, because we don't want any kind of, um, we don't want any of the security imposed on us at the moment. We just want to see um, uh, confinement problems logged, um, just get it working and then then all the um, permissions, plugs and things like that. So, right, so just save that off um, and let's get going then. So we have, um, I'm in the right place. I'm just going to, um, well, actually, before I do that, I should probably just show people new to it what we're actually building here. So if I just make this, this is building a Wales app and we're just using the demo. Um, and so now I have a, my build, I have a Wales test binary. And if I run that, I just get a window with the Wales logo and I can hit a button that says, hello world. That's all we're building at the moment. And in my make file, just so that people are up to speed, I might look. Um, I've got a few targets here. Um, the first one is just the binary, which is build, and then the app name, which is that. I've created that. I did a little bit of refactoring on this. Um, and uh, I can also, I've already worked on previous videos on the flat pack. Um, so you can just create the Flatback directory, you can run the Flatback from its directory, or you can install install it in the user um, repository as such. Um, and then I've got clean and clean all. Uh, and clean all will actually remove the node modules and the Flatback builder um, caches as well. Um, whereas normally I just remove, um, I've got a tar, tar version of the binary. Um, the build directory itself, um, the front end build, um, and then I, when I'm doing a flat pack, um, everything's kind of put together into flat pack temp. So that's also removed when you do a normal clean. So that's the uh, make file. It's pretty simple, and I'll be adding to this in a minute because once you know, once I get tired of running Snapcraft, mm -hmm. um, I'll want to add that there. So. Um, Let's do a quick make clean so that we know that there is absolutely nothing hanging around here. Make clean all. BST. So all we got is the snap directory there. No binary artifacts and that kind of stuff. So I am going to run Snapcraft. I'm going to use LXD as um, so when Snapcraft runs, it runs either in a VM or a container, um, normally, um, to kind of get together a nice environment, put all the build tools in, get all the files that it needs for it, builds everything, and then spits out a snap, uh, which has all the things in the right place, having built the binary and everything like that. Um, so it's a great way of making sure that everything um, is up to date and fresh um, and builds nicely um, and tests. So I just want to do, um, just clear out, I don't need to be in there anymore. Let's see, I've got a little script where I can watch what's happening in uh, LXD or LXC. So I've got a previous um, container there for Snapcraft, which was my Snippet Pixie one, because um, I build Snippet Pixie with 
Snapcraft, obviously. Um, and then there's a couple of test runs there as well. Um, so I'm expecting to see another one pop in, another container. I'm going to run it in debug mode so that if anything goes wrong, I get dumped into the running container. And let's go. Now, I'm not expecting anything to work here. I'm basically expecting it to... This is kind of a run to get the container um, built. Um, so this is going to basically create a new machine. It's called Snapcraft Wales Test. Um, and it's going to bring it up as um, Ubuntu 20.04. It's going to update it, get everything in place. Um, and then it's going to presumably install the Go tools um, and pull in the source code from my local repository or some my local file system here and then do something to try and build it. Um, and it also will be wrong for me because I want to use Wales to build it, um, the Wales CLI. Um, but we at least get to the point where we have a container with everything installed and then we can start updating the Snapcraft YAML um, to get it to do what we want it to do without having to do all these updates and things. So we just have a run in basically effectively a VM, VM but it's actually a light um, LXD container. So, right, so it's done all the basic packages there. It's built, it's putting in Snap. It's got its core. Snapcraft has gone in. All right, okay, so I didn't put a source in, did I? <laughs> Good point. All right, so for my Wales test part of the um, command, well, it's not command yet, I need some source. And I'm just going to use dot. I believe that will work. So even though this Snapcraft YAML um, is in a subdirectory, it's been found. Um, it kind of works it out, I believe. I mean, it's certainly found it anyway. So I'm actually in the container there, down here. And you can see that there's the project that's not. But I'm just going to drop out now and just run that again. So it should be a lot quicker now. It should effectively just do a few checks and then there we go so now it's downloading the go snap so that's all the build tools that we need for go I actually use the um, the go snap on my machine here um, it's just a nice easy way of getting all the tools together and keeping them up to date So now it's doing its thing. Right, okay, so this is the stuff I didn't want, well, I won't want to happen. It's trying to basically just go do um, a Go build. So it's done Go mod download, and now it's trying to do a Go install of some things. And yeah, that's not going to work. Um, okay. So what we need to do now, um, well, first of all, we haven't done anything that will allow Wales to build that. Uh, we haven't set up things like NPM, well, Node and NPM. Uh, so we'll need to do that. Um, and then we will need to override the default Go plugins build mechanism, because it obviously does like a Go install and stuff there which we don't want to do we just want to use whales but well, we need to install whales as well so what we're going to do here uh, i need to look at the docs that's for stars so i don't think i can do anything with the node plugin don't think you can have more than one 
plugin, so that's probably not going to be useful. So we'll get shot of that for the moment. Um, let's have a look at the stuff. So I've done all that. Base parts dependencies. A command to run, yeah, that'll come later. And then do some dry runs. Okay. Alright, here's alright, so we've got a nice little nice little list here of things to do in a nice order, I think. So add global metadata. Yeah. So we've done that basically. We have a name, summary, description, version. I put 0.1, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, so we've got name, base, version, description, grade, confinement. And then we started the parts. Grade, confinement. So yeah, so we've done all that. Build app. Right, this is what we want. This is the bit we're going to be stuck on for the minute. We can keep on building the actual binary that we're going to use. So plugin, yep, we picked. We've done the source. Build packages. A list of packages required to build your part. Okay, well that's where we're going to define that we need node. Okay. But it would be nice if I could just use the node snap. Snapcraft parts metadata might be the answer there. Build environment, build package, build snaps. A list of snap names to install that are necessary to build the part. If a specified channel is required, the syntax is of the form snap name channel. This entry is possible. Right, okay, well, that's perfect. Build snaps. So uh, let's drop out that. Um, I am using. Uh, node 16, I think. Let's just check. Uh, node 16, yeah, and I'm on the 16 stable channel here. So I should be able to just use that. So uh, let's try that in here then. Build snaps. Node. 16 stable. I think that's the format, isn't it? Yeah. So that's good. Now I need to find a way of overriding. Is there override prime, override pull, override stage? Oh, hold on. Override build. Replace plugin's default build process with a script. The shell script defined here replaces the build step of the plugin, defined in parts, blah, blah, blah. The working directory is the base build directory for the given part. The defined script is run with shell and set my say. Okay, so I can see everything. I say blah, blah, blah. blah. To run Snapcast's original build implementation from within override build, run snap craft control build. This can be run before or after any custom script. I don't think I need that because Wales does everything I need, I believe. So override build script. 
So override the bills. Oh, it knew that. Ah, interesting. Um, so I am going to write a little script here. So the first thing I need to do is install Wales. So Wales.app get started on Linux. Oh, I'm gonna need some prerequisites pre 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 as well. I forgot about that. So I need these, I need to make sure they're in place for Wales to do its thing. So let's do that as well. Now that is build. Is that build? Packages. A list of packages required to build a snap. Yeah, so Wales is gonna depend on those things. So Wales needs, basically, that's the C compiler and all that stuff. Uh, GTK3 and libwebkit 2 GTK version 4. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I did take it, didn't I? Let's copy that. So let's just install MO as well. Um, so we'll stick that up here, actually. Build. Packages. Thank you. Do that. And that. And that. So a nice little list there. I prefer this list format to square bracketed. It's easier to work with to just add and remove and whatnot. Okay. So we have that. So we've in theory got the dependencies, the native ones, and then the node stuff. And then right next, you go to install, which is just that go get. Huh, there's a copy command there. Um, go get blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we'll see how that works. So in theory, I can do that. And then Wales build. Okay, so we're using the plugin, Go plugin. We're using the local source from the checkout. Uh, we've got those build packages, build snap, and then in the override, we're going to go get Wales, and then we're going to use it to build. And we should have some result that we're then later going to use. All right, so let's see how far we get with that, because I'm not sure it's going to get very far. What I don't, th what I think is going to be a problem. Mm, yeah, I don't know where that ends up. And I don't know whether they will be in the path. So we'll check. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, I think we're at a point where we need that. And we're going to create a new entry here. So snap. Um. Yeah. 
yeah, what we'll do is we will have a slab craft. Do they call it a recipe? It's quite yeah, well then. Don't seem to be calling it a recipe anymore. Yeah. Well. Uh, snap. That's that's hard coded effectively. Snap. Craft. Yeah. Well. Snap. Snap. Craft. Yeah. Well. I don't know from that's actually a bit of a don't really need to do that anyway so if that changes then this will become out of date and does not depend on the binary because we're building it but does depend on the two sources. That's right. So we'll take them because it's a bit like the binary in that we're because we are building from scratch rather than doing a just a dump of the binary into a runtime environment. Um, and that's a phony. Do not want. Um, do not want like a snap file to be created. Although the directory is actually there. Mm. Hey, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to change that later. If I wanted to make it, um, so that make and say, Hana, oh, no, you don't need to build this. Yeah, really, it doesn't have any dependencies because it is just a phony. I just run it and it will do its thing. But anyway, okay. Yeah, yeah it's going to run every time at the moment. I'm guessing. Okay, let's give it a go. Uh, make snap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't do that right, did I? Why didn't that fail for flat pack then?
actually, I bet it's because of these. It's trying to make it because they need it. Oh. Because I got it wrong. It's not crafty ammo here. That's why. Okay. Here we go. Oh, well, yeah. So that's all the build essentials and stuff coming in now. So yeah, so what we added was these and then node. Okay, let's see what happens. Could take a little while. That's a bunch of stuff being pulled in for this. But the good thing is once you've got it up and running, it's there, and you can just iterate over it. Um, plus, I tend to just let um, Snapcraft IO do all the work anyway. I just hook it up and let, let it put in the sources and build it as and when the repo changes. Okay, there's a node coming in now. So after that, I'm guessing it should do, there we go, go get whales. Downloading. Right, cool. Failed to run. Right, bin bash line, whales command not found. Okay, so where is it then? Oh, where did it... Where did it put it then? I can't see it in the list. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Parts, parts, whales test, install, bin. So is that, does that look like it? Is that the binary? Yeah, that looks like it's binary enough. It's executable. Oh. Ugh, there's no file thing. And, yeah, well. uh, right, so that's in the install bin, so I need to reference that in my build. Um, so somehow, right, so there's various Snapcraft, um, like environment variables, like, uh, dollar snap this and snap that and whatnot. So I suspect, oh, I'm in the wrong bit there. I suspect I can do... Something with that. No, that's not mentioned there in the parts. File sets a key to represent a group of files in a single file. Uh, no. It's 
no like install with the build build packages list of firewall variables nope I oh, know they're, they're kind of the runtime ish stuff. Not what I want. Ah, here we go. Parts life cycle. What's that? Okay, cool. Okay, so what am I looking for? Uh, install right. So that's the part. It's my part name here. Wells test, and I'm looking for something that goes install and then bin. There. Snapcraft part install contains the results of the build step and the stage packages. Okay. Then we've got Snapcast stage shared by all parts. This directory can, contains the development libraries, headers, and other components uh, that need to be accessible from other parts. Okay. And then Snapcraft prime shared by all parts. This directory holds the final components for the resulting snap. Okay. So Snapcraft part build as well. What's that? the working directory during the build step. Okay. So that's probably not, I just probably just need this. I guess I can just go Um, bin whales, that's right, wasn't it? Install, yeah, blah, 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 install. Bin whales. Okay. Let's see how far we get with that. Make snap. Go get whales, it's running. So it's doing all the NPM stuff now. So it's done the install, building, checking the ghost stuff. Oh, we have a snap. <laughs> it doesn't know how, I don't know how, because <laughs> there's nothing in it, or shouldn't be. Um, what have we got? Yeah, five megs. Uh, that's not really going to work. But in theory, I can install that. Um, but I haven't told it. I haven't told it what the actual command is to run when you do it and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I didn't do any runtime dependencies. So uh, we can try, we can do an install. Um, it won't find any binary though, but let's, let's give it a go. Uh, sudo snap install this file. Uh, and I need to do dev mode dangerous. Yeah, because I think that's right, yeah. Because we're in div mode confinement, we need to say, yeah, we know. 
this is not a real snap and I'm in development mode and then dangerous because it's a local file so let's see what happens I suspect it won't do anything okay so snap list oh it didn't I mean it didn't connect anything so normally when you build a snap it says oh okay let's connect all these permissions and all this kind of stuff yeah, so it's in there and it's a revision X1, which means it's a development mode stuff. Yeah, even the notes is dev mode. Okay. So if it had worked and we had a nice working snap, I should in theory be able to find the binary. Oops, whales test. I can't. There's nothing there. Um, so that, that, that snap um, hasn't got anything. So if I do snap info, test okay there we go it's kind of there but not because we haven't finished it it's like an empty shell at the moment with no commands to run in it it's just a container which just happens to have some files in it so let's go through the doc still then because I think I think we're basically done with the parts. We've built the binary in theory. Although I have no idea where it is. Hmm. That's a good point. That's a good point. So. What I'm going to do is going to go. Actually, I know what I've got to do now. I need to have another go at building it. But then, before it finishes and creates a snap file, I need to jump in to the container and have a look around. See whether it's A, whether the binary actually is there and, and where it is. Um, because I'm going to need that to set things up in a minute. So, snap craft. Prime, I think, is the thing I do. Yeah, snap off prime shell, iterate and overload build. That's what I want to do. I want to do snap craft prime shell after. So after it's created everything and put everything where it thinks it's ready to go, before it actually spits out the snap file, I want to drop in and have a look and see what it's got. So snap craft prime shell after and I want to use xd still rather than um, multipass what it's called is it multipass? yeah Here we go, right. Rails test. Right, okay. So that first entry is just the directory. And then we've got parts, whales test, build, build, whales test. That's me. That means it's not been primed. It means it's not actually in these. Because when you look here, you've got a prime. And what's in prime? There's a bin, which is where I want it to go. And Wales is in there. <laughs> okay. Which I don't want. Okay. 
So I want to move. How do I move things? Organize a map of files to rename. That would work in the key value pair. The key represents the path of a file inside the part and the value represents how the file is going to be staged. Okay, yeah, well, you stage things before they get primed, so I guess that's good. So... Um, So in theory, it's here, isn't it? It's in Snapcraft part build. Interesting. So, bin part. It's not, there's no, yeah, there's no build there. So, yeah, I guess I've got to do that then. Ugh. Mind you, the docs do say path of a file inside the part and the value represents how the file is going to be staged. So is it in build? Okay, well, we'll try the environment variable. And so now we're into, right, so we've built it. Let's organize and this is a map, isn't it? Dictionary, yeah. So I just put in Snapcraft part build, build Wales test. And I want that just to be staged as bin Wales test. That's cool. No, don't ask me that. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'll need to put that on and get ignore in a minute. And snap. Um, do, 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 do. Let's do that just now. Um, so, how do we get rid of the whales binary? Do we care? Well, let's, yeah, let's just check whether that works first.
do that again. Oh, that's new. The Wells test part is missing libraries that are not included in the snap or base. They can they can be satisfied by adding the following entry for this part. That's kind of good news because that means it's recognized as a binary in the bin directory that needs these dependencies at runtime. Okay. Um, let's just check to see what we've got. Should have just typed it. <laughs> Prime bin, Wiles test and stage. So that's good. Um, but we do still have, yeah, we have Prime bin Wales as well. Okay, so there's a couple of things to do. Need to get rid of the whales binary because we don't need that. That I mean that could affect the output there. They might have dependencies that we don't need. So I don't want to take that list and put them in yet until we've got rid of the whales binary because we don't want that. Um although it didn't complain last time. But anyway, okay. Uh so how do we do that? Say a thing there. Prime, prime. A list of files from part name to prime. Rules applying to this to the list here are the same as those of file sets. Referencing of file set keys is done with a dollar sign fix the file set key, which will expand in the right set file set. Skipped that before, didn't I? File sets. Okay. So you can have basically a variable. Oh. The so wildcards can basically add in an initial dash will exclude the files in that path. For example, you can add user local star, then remove all the man stuff, all the man pages with a dash in front of the name. Conflicting rules. Okay, look, I could do that. So Prime uses the same syntax in theory. That's what I said, isn't it? Yeah, same as the file sets. So, I just need to get rid of bin whales then. I'm Try that. Okay, let's we've used that enough. Let's put that in the make file. Right. Um Let's do C 
snap prime shell. Makes sense, doesn't it? Could be handy. Right, so still a bunch of dependencies there. Do we have a whales? Only in stage, not in prime. That's good. Do we still have a whales test? Make sure there's no weird match rules. Oh. Yes, prime bin whales test. Good. Right. So I guess we need to do something about these dependencies then. Let's just take them off. Okay, mom. Okay. Is that in the right place? It is. Stage packages. See if it complains now. I guess I can just do a make snap. Don't really need to see that again. Unless I mean, I've got the debug on there anyway. I might need to change that in the make file. So I've got like a make snap debug and a make snap just. Uh, 1001 goes into the shell and such. Do it just now while it's doing this thing. Right, so that's getting all the dependencies that I've just added. Okay, while it's doing its thing, let's go fix up this. Yeah, we'll have two versions here. Uh, 
I should do. Building. And it's snapping. And it didn't complain about the dependencies. So that's good. <laughs> Oh, it's bloated out now. 101 megabytes now because of all those dependencies runtime. Yeah. Let's um Let's install it. It's not going to work because I haven't actually I still haven't said what snap should run and um, but we'll do it anyway sudo snap install just make sure it actually installs diff mode dangerous all right Yep, X2 now. But yeah, so I'm not going to have... There's no command yet. There's nothing to run. It's not been put onto the path. Um, I don't think... Is there a snap run? You don't really need that, do you? Because it's puts everything into the path and everything. What do we do? No. Okay. Uh, right. So I think I just need to progress through the um, the guide. So. We've basically done parts. We've got everything in place. Um, we now need to uh, dependencies. Yeah, we've done. We've done that. We've done the build packages, the stage stuff. Uh, da -da -da. Yep, debugging done. Snap card for me, let's talk about it. built in out staged packet dependency. Okay. Alright, we've done that. So we've done a global, we've added the build steps, we've added our dependencies, we've just done that. Define in a command, right? So this is where we actually tell snap what what to run when you want to run snap. So, apps, command, okay, yeah. So I need to say, right, it has these apps. It's called Wells test and the command to run is this. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um oops. Wales test. And the command is bin Wales test, because we put that in the bin. Do that. That should, in theory, 
at least get it to try to run, but we've not given it any permissions. So it's not going to work, but but it will at least try, <laughs> I think, because now it knows what to run. Oh, that's interesting. What's it doing all that for? Mm. I guess because it's got stuff to run now. Oh, okay. What's what changed up here then? Nothing. Well, that's doing the do. It wasn't that bad. See, it's so much quicker once once you've got everything in place. You just you can iterate over it pretty quick, and it's something that's spun up a whole machine and made sure all the dependencies are in place and you run build steps and then put everything in place. Okay, right. So this will be a disaster. But oh it did some stuff there. Wales test. Boom. Right, okay. That is very familiar. That is very much like when the flat pack didn't have permissions. It couldn't find the WebKit stuff. So it's the same issue. Right, so we've got to the point where the permissions aren't set. It basically tried to run the binary, but it wasn't allowed. It wasn't able to find WebKit and all this kind of stuff on the host. So, okay, well, we're almost there then. Um, to move down the list, snap layouts. Okay. All right. Okay. So if this were a proper snap bars building, I'd want to um, give it sort of uh, icons and desktop files and all this kind of stuff um, that would just go automatically mapped in. That's what this is about. So you can basically um, move things around in the snap and say, hey, my data's over here and stuff. So that's fine. I don't have any of that. All I have is a binary to run. I don't have a desktop file. I don't have an icon or anything like that to muck about yet. That's something you would do later on. Yeah. Okay, what's the next stage of this little walkthrough then? Extensions. The Snap Graph extensions enable Snap developers to easily incorporate a set of common requirements into a Snap. A Snap developer creating a GTK3 application Snap, for example, can use GNOME 3.28, the GNOME 3.28 extension to expose the GTK3 libraries to a Snap at build and runtime build as well. Okay without the snap developer needing to need developer needing specific deep knowledge about gtk3 extensions help avoid repetitive tasks in the snap building process obviate the need for in-depth knowledge of the target software stack create a standard template for common application requirements reduce the testing and security burden 
as the test did not update it independently. Okay. I must have looked at this before then. Ah, yes, because I wanted to use this stuff with Snippet Pixie, but couldn't because of classic confinement. Right, before we get on to that. Okay, so by using the extension, it's going to do all this stuff, which is all the permissions that you need. So when you create a command, uh, an app, so in this case, this one's called foliate, foliate. Um, that's the command you run, but you have to then give, um, you have to kind of plug um, together permissions, you have to say, hey, I want to be able to access the home folder or the desktop. Um, this is a fallback. I might need Wayland and X11. So this extension stuff, by the looks of things, will do it all. Right, well, I'm on core 20. And I want GNOME 3.38. So just do extensions GNOME 3.38. So it's going to, okay, so it's going to get, it's going to roll in GTK themes, icons and sound stuff automatically. And put in these permissions. Okay, perfect. All right, let's try that. Um, so GNOME 338 extensions in the command. I'll use my preferred. There we go. GNOME. I want 38. Let's do that. <laughs> I guess Goland doesn't know about 338 yet. But anyway. We'll try that. See what that does. Right. Should I do debug mode? Um, I'll just do make. Let's see what happens. Ah, there we go. So it's now downloading the GNOME 338 SDK for 2004. Okay. I'll take a few minutes. Well, I guess once it's done, it's done. At least in this LXD thing anyway. I guess I'll have to run it on. I don't know whether that's available. Well, I do I need a while? Well, I won't need the SDK. But um, all right, so I've got GTK themes already, common themes, and I've got three twenty eight here. Okay, eight and four. So something must have already required that as a runtime, and then. So I expect when I first install my little Wales test, 
um, snap, it's going to need to go get the 338 extension. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so it's doing known 338 now. So that's just that's just like the flat pack that we did the other day. The flat pack has um, a runtime, and I was using the gnome. That's right. Was I was using gnome platform? Yeah, uh, version three thirty eight, and I used the SDK for gnome as well. So it's the same. It's the same idea. You have these pre-packaged runtimes in SDKs that kind of do a whole bunch of work for you. The only difference is that with this flat pack, you still had to tell it <laughs> that you wanted to have access to the window manager, um, which is a bit nuts. So I like I like how snap pack is in theory going to do all that for you because you're using GNOME, you would want to. So yeah, that's good. That makes sense. Okay. How much time have I got? I've got a little bit of time still. We're good. It's a bit longer though today. I did do this very iteratively. Here we go. All right, so snapping up. So yeah, so the container already knew that I'd already done the build, the stage, and the prime. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh. Frog in my throat. Okay. So yeah, that's in theory. We now have a new snap. And we can just install it. There we go. Right. So now it's definitely doing more. So it's putting those plugs into slots. Um, so it's actually connecting things up. So it's connecting the snap to all the permissions it needs to do all the, the X stuff and whatnot. So in theory, we are not have those WebKit issues anymore because the GNOME stuff should be available to the snap. Assuming that it's got WebKit in it. That's bound to, isn't it? It's got to. I wonder if it's currently downloading anything. Maybe it's just got a lot of tests to do there. Oh, thought about something there. Is that pig in my machine or not? Nah, not really. Cool. Okay, I wonder if that just downloaded a bunch of stuff. Let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's what the delay was. So it had to install that. Um, did it install anything else? Me? Not Core 20. I already had that, didn't I? Gnome 338. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's give it a go then. Interesting. There we go. We have a snap working. Hello world. Same things going on there. 
usual window. Could do the usual stuff. Good stuff. But what's all this rubbish? Hmm. I wonder. So you know, I put in all those runtime dependencies. The stage independencies, was it? I wonder if that... means it's conflicted on that stuff. What happens if I run it again, is it? It's the same things, okay. Let's, let's try something. Right, is everything just, yeah. Right, stage package is my last bit. Right, so I've deleted all those de one-time dependencies that it complained about before I was using the extension. Let's do... Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean out. I'm going to clean out the um, the entire thing and do one last run and see if it complains about those extensions being missing. And then if it works, we'll give it a go and see if those issues are gone because Everything's now changed now. I've got the extension in place. I'm going to just check the docs on that before we go any further. Hooks. Okay, I don't need to do any of that. Yeah, I mean, because it already works, I don't need to do any clean up and anything. All right, I've already seen all that, that's good. Okay, so we're pretty much there. Um, Okay, a couple of things to do then. We want to clean up by getting rid of the snap and on a clean all, we want to do actually let's do a separate thing here. Let's do snap clean snap craft clean user next day. That will actually remove the container so it has to be built from scratch um, do i want that as part of clean all mm, maybe not it's a bit i'll leave it for the moment All right so make clean all make slap Clean and so the container should disappear from up there in a minute. Good. 
gone. Okay. So now it has no choice. Yeah. It has no choice but to build everything from scratch in the snap. So it's a fully clean build. It's going to take a while because it needs to do all those dependencies again. It's basically building a machine and running through, doing all the downloads. But now that we're using the extension, I wonder if a bunch of stuff will be skipped. And I'm hoping that means it's also going to be a more coherent build. So build requirements coming in there. Installing it all. Sort of setting up stuff here, GCC, all this kind of stuff. Okay, so snap itself is coming in. The core, the default core IT, Snapcraft. Right, build dependencies now. Ah, I left. Oh. I probably don't need these. Because of the extension. Okay, well, I'll we'll let it finish now. And then I'll do it again. <laughs> That's probably... Yeah. I bet that's where the actual, that conflict was coming in with the web kit. Yeah, I'll let it run there so anyway. I've got a couple of minutes still, so. Right. Yeah, because now the gnome got stuff is coming in before any building happens. So that probably means I didn't need to have those build packages in there. Well, we'll see if this works and then I'll take him out and uh, see if it still works. I'm very tempted to hit Control C right now, but I'm not going to hit because I can imagine because this is going to take a little while. Mm. 
think I might. There you go. Yeah, so it's doing all the WebKit stuff as well, for sure. But does it do... Well, it's got to do the dev stuff, the dev library, surely, so... Yeah, okay. So the build snap GTK known desktop. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure by looks things I can remove those uh, package dependencies. All right. Just doing this thing. Let's check. So what did it do? SDK call and then no. Okay. All right. Oh, that's way smaller now. 3.3 .3 megs and instead of 101. That's good. <laughs> All right, let's install that. That's made a big difference, just to taking out those packages. Um snap list. So I'm version five now. Well refresh five. Revision five even. Um snap info. Oop. Else test. Yeah, three megs. Alright, let's give it a go and see if it gets those errors still. Well, not so many. Well, nothing really. Oh, that's good. Okay, still does that though. Right, well that, okay, well that helped immensely then. Do I risk taking out the uh, things and seeing what happens? Right, I got I've got ten to fifteen minutes, so I can have a go. Let's have a quick go. Um so make snap clean to get rid of that container. Make clean. 
container's gone. Right, take out the packages. Let's just see. I don't... It might not work. It's not great as an example, because I've taken out all the packages you might need, but... If it might speed things up. Okay, make snap. We'll see how it goes. It'd be interesting to see whether a, 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 we'll see. I'm assuming that those like build essentials and dev libraries get included by the extension. And so do not have to run through the whole package install because it just comes in as part of the snap. <clears throat> as part of the SDK bit that comes in. Right, so this is all the update stuff. This is the the machine just coming up and getting itself in order. Okay. I think. Yeah, that's quicker now, isn't it? Right, was it now that it did the build packages? Yeah, so that's just dropped out a whole bunch of packages that needed to be installed. So that's way quicker already. Although this is good lump of uh, data, but it's a heck of a convenience for setting up all the permissions and everything I need anyway. Yeah, to do any of the build stuff, did it? Just the basics that I needed. I already had that build essentials. Okay. So it's all the WebKit stuff that was taking forever. And possibly some of the GTK that came along. Yeah, because this is good. I mean, it does make sure that all these things are up to date. Get all security fixes and everything in there when you do the build. So no, oh, I guess so no through. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, so this is the chunky one, isn't it? So it's that's the big one time.
So we're about four minutes in for building a whole machine and bringing it up and building. Do sometimes wish I'm not in the middle of the countryside with a very slow internet connection. But hey. Okay. So now we actually build. So that's installed in Wales effectively. Now the Wales build. Which is all NPM and Go stuff. And we're done. Well, that's really quick when it gets to the snap bit. Cool. All right. Let's do sudo snap remove whales test purge. Yep. Okay, so snap list, we have no whales, test, do a whales test, it ain't going to work, come on, not found, so let's install it, sudo snap install, whales test, one blah blah, dev mode dangerous, go for it. So in theory, it's now in the list. It is vision X1. And if I run Wales test, there we go. Less of the stuff. That's great. So that worked. And if I do uh, make snap again, in theory, it should be a lot quicker now. So we're at 9.49ish now. Nine fifty. okay. Well, that was quick. <laughs> All right, I missed it. <laughs> it just worked. As you see, it didn't have to download anything because the container had everything it needed and nothing changed. Um, so if I, uh, let's just update uh, the actual app so that we get some changes. Um, what should we do? Should we change this? Hello. packaged world <laughs> okay we'll do that make snap ok 
Okay, so it has to do the build phase, and because I'm actually installing Wells each time I have to go get it, I might have to change that in the future because I'm sure I could do that as like a. Um, there must be in like an earlier phase for that. But anyway, but that's so quick anyway. Lucy got the latest version and did the do, so that's all right. But yeah, I mean, that's seconds, isn't it? I mean, what's that, 10 seconds to build? To bring up a whole machine and build and everything? That's good. Okay, um, and then I'll just install that. And run it. There we go. Hello, Linux packaged world. Smart. Let's uh, commit that off then. We need to add that to get. Why is that complaining? Oh, okay, that's fine. We're good there. So I think we can... I don't think we need to do anything else. We're good there, aren't we? We can just commit that. So this will add snap what did I do previously in my messages and flap up manifest okay uh, Okay. I don't want those things. No, no, yes. I always want to push tags, right? Sorted, okay. So we have a basic, um, and I'm out of time as well, so I can't do the next bit. So what I was gonna do was, switch this to um, stable and strict and have a little play um, but I've got uh, meetings and things to go to now so uh, that'll be that um, but that was great um, so we now have um, a working snap package which is nice um, and a flat pack uh, for a whales app um good stuff uh so uh thank you for watching um especially if you stuck right to the end on this one um and uh until next time take care